मंच पे उपस्थित डॉक्टर मैडम पूनम जी एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ आई एल बी एस डॉक्टर सरीन साहब माई कलीग हामिद एंड डेस्टिन गेस्ट हुआ प्रेजेंट हेयर ऑन टूडेज फाउंडेशन डे ऑफ आई एल बी एस आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड एनी स्पीच और एनी थिंग सो वॉट एवर आई बिलीव अबाउट हेल्थ सेक्टर एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर इन डेली एंड देन ऑफकोर्स द हेल्थ सेक्टर इन आई एल बी एस तो आई टेक फ्यू मिनट्स ऑफ योर्स सो दैट फर्स्ट आई शुड कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द एंटायर टीम ऑफ आई एल बी एस आप फ्यू डेज बैक लाइक वेन वी आर चैटिंग विद माई कलीग्स तो टॉपिक केम फॉर डिस्कशन अबाउट फॉर विच डेली शुड बी प्राउड ऑफ इन द लास्ट सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स of post independence so nobody not many people can uh, say a few things uh, then i said delhi metro we should be proud of then i said ke uh, all india institute of medical science because today it is known globally then of course everybody also appreciated yes in a liver management or a liver disease management ilbs somehow in the post independent india we could not able to develop the good institute or the good organization in the public sector and when you see ke that in the last 12 year or 13 years we have an institute which according to me has an a potential to become an a global institute and not in a longer period it can be developed into in a few years so that shows ke that what type of dedication commitment has gone in setting up this institute perhaps at the same time when you were coming up as ilps i have seen few hospital as supposed to come up in delhi at that time also and believe me i am not exaggerating some of them are yet to be started so the same system same city same government means public sector we have a successful story of ilbs and then i can of course it is, doesn't look nice to share the name of those institute in the which is yet to be started so that shows what is the difference between okay, what we have seen here then credit should go absolutely to the ilbs team where everybody <laughs> see we say or we believe that dr sarin is doing but according to me dr sarin yes without you is uh, absolutely like any other person eh? so everybody who is working right from the bottom to the top of the pyramid shall be congratulated and complimented <laughs> now my request to all of you that team ilbs will be use me as much as you can and get extract whatever is a possible from the government side so that you whatever you are visualizing what is your vision of to become an a global institute can be realized it in a reasonable time frame you have done according to me extremely wonderful and i also believe that the people who are working in a public sector in the health they are actually are very expert in delhi in india and they are known for that globally yeah? even if a private hospital like max smokes whatever you can call it if you remove the government doctors there then they will be actually collapsing yeah? they are surviving because we have given them an a persons experts professional who worked in the public sector for many decades and that today of course they are working in that side but they are also doing a good job so nothing to worry about that but our responsibility in the public sector is a huge country is huge city delhi is also very huge the population of the delhi must be bigger than many of the countries globally so we also have an a challenge that is why i always tell dr sarin get whatever is approval or required from our end so that we will give it to them and so that you flourish like an absolutely global institute i was talking to a director and uh, madam dr pona madam that today morning i attended an another meeting where we are developing a health institute for our paramilitary forces uh, near maidan gadi where government of india has put about an 1800 crore rupees so now why i am mentioning about that institute because i strongly believe ke delhi shall become a center for the tertiary health sector not only in india 
but at least in this part of the world because not many of the people patient let's say from the neighboring countries nepal or asian countries or bangladesh can go and afford get an something treated in america because whatever i limited knowledge is that cost of the treatment in europe or the america will be will be r is less than a 20% of what they are doing it so when our prime minister says ke that by 2047 we have to become an avish guru at that time the responsibility will lies on india to meet the challenges of the world and therefore the next 25 year is a very challenging year for all of us where we have to work only in a one direction how to make india as the developed country and believe me whatever limited experience i am having working in a government sector for last so many decades whenever india raised to the occasion and we have delivered it if today it is the ground realities and the haqeeqat hai ki when any major tornado come on the eastern coast of india and lakhs of lakhs people are to be shifted it is exactly done in a few days believe me no other country on this planet can do that type of things in a days but we are doing it we might have not done in the beginning about 15 years back but today it is a reality here so my point is that uh, and everybody must be believing that india can actually do wonders if tomorrow you ask some come to a country to organize an election of a such a large population in a few days believe me nobody can manage but we are doing it but only prior now this in the next 25 year we have to work only with the one intention how to make this country developed in whatever way we are working whether in a private sector or a public sector or even at my home we have to work on those line then i was trying i was discussing with dr sarin for the last few weeks time and i'm just throwing an ideas for the team ilbs ke what we can do now in the next 5 year according to me you should be the institute for an a post graduation program in the not only in delhi but most of the northern part of india so that's one thing where we can work and whatever support we can give required for the institute we'll try to give from the government side sometime back because i was handling that so called excise policy so at that time like i was telling the people ke like we should not increase selling of the liquor in the city because uh, a lot number of the people are getting their livers are getting affected by uh, this drinking habit at that time they told me that the expenditure on the liver in delhi is almost equivalent to whatever revenue we are getting from an excise so then i realized it ke how acute this problem is then i floated an idea to doctor saab ke why not we start working bringing all the stakeholder to work on the vaccine for the liver disease i strongly believe ke we may succeed we may not succeed but i think that ilbs can take an a lead i spoken to the few people in the private sector public sector and the people who are expert in this subject can we bring uh, every stakeholder at a one platform where ilbs ilbs can become an a center and we can work on exploring the possibility of developing a vaccine for the liver disease that is something which we can work on it for the next now third of course is like sharing the knowledge and because my experience is that we generally are not very good in sharing the knowledge indians are individually very good but when we comes to work as a team or as a sharing the information or working together then we are not so good in absolute terms because some of the culture in the world they are very good in working as a team so we should also try to become an a knowledge center for sharing the information sharing the knowledge sharing the problem also so that we can work together and see how best we can do for the welfare of the people of this country here yeah. once again sincerely i am saying i am very proud to be associated with ilbs and whatever like whenever as long as i am working in a delhi government we can definitely support all of your good endeavors and i am very and i am proud of ilbs that's all i can say and thank you very much